Hello everyone. Continuing from the last video, in this tutorial you will learn how to use resources with polyline and guided placement types. Let's get started. To begin, let's head over to the CM Builder resource library by clicking on Resources. Here, you'll discover a vast number of objects that can be used to build your simulation. Easily find the resource you need by using the search bar or exploring various categories. If you can't find a specific resource in our library, please submit a resource request and we will build it for you. Let's use a fence resource as our example for adding a polyline resource in this tutorial. We recommend switching to 2D view mode before adding a polyline resource to eliminate any perspective distortion that may result from 3D view. Open the Logistics and Facilities category and select Fences. In this tutorial we will use the Construction Site Fence but feel free to use the search bar or filters to find any resource within the selected category. Many resources will have the polyline placement as default, and you'll notice your cursor transform into a black pen with a blue box. As you move the cursor, the blue box highlights the surface of your sketch. A side sheet will appear showing some initial settings along with sketch surface options. Start your sketch by placing a point on your map. A gridline plane will appear with additional functions and properties. This plane is the Z plane, and its default elevation will be based on the terrain elevation of the initial point. To learn more about various sketch tools, please watch our sketch tools tutorial from the playlist. The line sketch tool will be selected as the default. Select points on the sketch plane to create a polygon, creating a footprint for the fence. Once done, click confirm on the right side sheet and change to the 3D view to visualize the fence. The resource will appear with its default configuration, and you can view all relevant information in the right-hand side menu. You can find the commands used to manipulate resources next to the side menu. Refer to the previous video for instructions on how to move, rotate, and adjust your resource using the buttons or shortcuts. Additionally, click the Edit Sketch button to open the Sketch Drawing tool and modify your sketch. For polyline resources, such as fences, turning on the 2D mode visuals will display a line in 2D view. You can adjust the line's color and customize its appearance as well. Now, let's look at the resource side sheet. Most of the commands in this menu are similar to what we covered in the previous video, except for spacing. This toolset will help you adjust the resource pattern in following the direction of your sketch. By default, the Project on Terrain toggle is on. This allows the polyline resource to follow the contour of the terrain. It's ideal for resources like fences, traffic arrows, and other repeating objects. Turn off the Project on Terrain toggle to enable the resource to follow the sketch plane elevation. You can use this mode to place elements like guardrails or other fall protection resources on top of slabs or elevated from the terrain. Keep in mind that the project on terrain toggle will automatically switch to off whenever you move the object up. Next, let's look at custom spacing options. Select no overlap from, drop down to auto space the object with minimum spacing on the projected sketch. This option is recommended for most parametric resources. You can also select overlap excessive length to fit the object to the sketched profile ensuring the resource completely fills the gaps along your sketch, recommended for fences and shoring as examples. Lastly, you can select custom spacing to define spacing values from the center point of one object to another. Use the space between field to enter your custom value, recommended for resources such as cones and arrows. Next, the resource timeline section will define the first and last milestones in which the resource will be visible in your scenario. In this example, you can see the fence becomes visible on milestone 1 and remains visible until the end. The timeline details will show all milestones in which your resource is visible and whether there are any changes in position or parameters assigned to a milestone. Confirm the resource placement by clicking Done. You can see the resource in the tree as well. You can edit the resource by double-clicking on it or accessing other editing options through the right-click menu. Lastly, let's talk about the guided resources. Guided resources require a fence resource to be placed first and are mostly used for gates. 
With a fence placed, select a gate resource from the resources and equipment library. Note that gates can be placed using the guided or point options. Hover the cursor over the fence to preview the placement and click to place the gate along the fence. Click Move on Guide or hit the shortcut M or T keys on your keyboard. Then use the blue sliders on the gate in the viewer to change the position of the gate along the fence line. Likewise, click the Adjust button or hit the shortcut key A to access the parametric handles and see the list of the available parameters for the gate. You also have all the options in the resource side sheet, similar to point or polyline resources, including resource swap, show logo, custom color, and resource timeline. Note that when defining the timeline of a guided resource, you can toggle inherit parent date to follow the same time frame as the fence resource. That wraps it up for the polyline and guided resource placement. See you in the next tutorial video.